Hello, hello, hello. This is going to be for Sagittarius because, excuse my little cheesy box and stuff over there. Y'all know my tripod is always dying because I'm always doing something with it. But this reading was so good, I had to come bring it to y'all, okay? So this is what I see. This, uh, well, first, let me do my intro. Um, This is going to be for Sagittarius, okay? So, hey, my Sagittarius. Y'all know this is Creole Intuitively Guided Tarot, okay? And I'm here to deliver your message for April 9th, 2018. As y'all know, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone's situation. Um, If you would like a personal reading, my information is down below in the description box. Please continue to send me your love and support just to know I'm connected to someone's energy is enough motivation to keep me doing what I love to do. I want to do this. I love to do this. And this is just my favorite hobby. Um, so if this resonates, please feel free to timestamp and comment below for our convenience, which this wasn't going to be a reading, but this reading went so good. I just had to record it. Okay, I should have I should have let y'all see me shuffle. These cards really fell out like this on their own. I don't know who this is for, but somebody needs to hear this, okay? So here in the first house, we have the fire sign card. So you're feeling very creative right now. You know, you you're you have all the energy to put movement. Um, you know, you've been looking for a change and it's finally here. Um, if you have a new project going on, you're moving forward with it, with your plans, your ideas, you know, you're feeling like the time is right for you to take action and whatever you have going on. Um, you know, your ideas and outlook are expanding. You, you feel like you have, like you're, you're, you're like experiencing this new beginning right and so i don't know it's like it just oh it just feel good i can feel the energy coming through my fingertips like somebody has had a wonderful beginning okay so then whether you're single or you're not single but i i think this is for the singles so because we have the knight of pinnacle which is your potential partner or somebody coming towards you. I feel like this could be a Taurus, but um, also any earth sign for that matter. But I feel like this is a Taurus. And this person is like, this person was like moving really slowly towards you, you know, hoping that they make the right decision. They probably felt like they missed out on the opportunity to come towards you in the past and now the opportunity has arrived they probably have shot you some kind of um text message um i don't know they probably try to contact you through a social media site or something like that um and once they got your attention they felt like okay like i can't mess this up um you know i don't want to lose this person again i don't want to lose their attention again you know, I don't know, this could even be somebody you dealt with in the past, or this could be a new person. But overall, I feel like this is a new person, okay? So, once this person comes in, I feel like this will probably be, like, this person is going to make you so happy, you know? Like, you're happy without them, if they haven't come in yet. You're definitely happy without, you probably, you know, I, I'm feeling like this is somebody single. Somebody that's going through um, phases of letting the ex go or something like that. Letting somebody go from the past. But now you've found, you know, because the star is a, this is a lovely card, you know. And it's like now you're just, you know. It's like your fantasy is the reality now, you know? Maybe you dreamed of this opportunity your damn self, okay? So, what's at the heart of the matter is the lover card, the lover's card. Okay, and this can totally be Gemini as well as the star could be Aquarius, Um, you know. 
But with the lover's card, um, this is saying that basically, like, it's safe. The universe wants you to know that it's safe for you to love. It's safe for you to be loved. It's safe for you to move forward with any plans you have. You see, these came out right beside each other. You know, this is always like wish fulfillment to me. Um, you having a, this could even be you having a passion for a project you started. So... This person comes in, they sweep you off your feet. Y'all start moving forward together. And Lord behold, hmm, the Hierophant reverse. Somebody shows up, somebody who, you know, they don't give you what you want. You're unsatisfied with this person. With the Six of Cups in reverse, this has to be somebody from the past. They're coming back wanting your forgiveness. They're wanting a second chance. They're wanting to start over. This will leave you in some sort of turmoil with the Two of Swords and the outcome. So, of course, you will kind of be like indecisive, you know, about this stalemate. I, the person from the past is the stalemate, okay? Um, And it's like... You're not going to know which way to go. You might have a tough time deciding because, you know, you put so much energy into getting over this person, you know, and now they're trying to come back. Now they want your forgiveness, but I'm feeling like they're only doing this because you have connected with someone else. Who makes you happy, by the way? Okay. And this person that you've connected with, this is a loyal, dedicated person, okay? You you will be able to trust this person wholeheartedly. I feel like, you know, they've weighed the options and they chose you, okay? Who, this is an earth sign coming towards you. Okay, they're coming towards you for a new beginning. They're ready to sweep you off your feet. <laughs> this is this reading is the bomb. So like I said, the love from the past comes back. They're wanting forgiveness. And then you're confused because you know before this person came in, you really wanted this with this person from the past over here. And so, you know, you're going to be kind of in your head. But I feel like... These are the other cards that clarifies the outcome, okay? The Two of Swords. So then you had the Six of Swords. So I feel like you're going to move away from that because this person caused you conflict, okay? This person caused a lot of confusion. And so you move away. This is you moving away. You're like, you're moving away from all that false fantasy, all the false promises this person giving you has given you, right? And... You know what you want and you're going to go after it, okay? You might feel like with the Two of Swords, you might feel like you don't know what you want. But the High Priestess says you do know what you want and you're going to go towards it, okay? And so, it's like you're putting an end to a cycle with someone who, there's a person from the past. I feel like you was weak for them, right? You was weak for them. You didn't have the strength to... You know, it probably, I feel like it took you a lot of time to get out of this fantasy land about this person. But, like, you finally said, fuck them. You know, this the end of our role. You know, I'm weak for you. But, you know, this cycle has to end. And so, ultimately, I think you go with, oh, mm, I didn't even notice this. The Queen of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. So, like I was saying, you're going to offer your cup of love to this person that has come in. Okay, yeah, see? You got the Six of Pentacles. This is somebody that gives you what you want, somebody that's give and take. This is a Taurus card as well, okay? The bottom of the deck is the Nine of Cups. Reverse. So, you're definitely coming out of being single because you know it's like I 
I actually flipped that over and I'm so sorry. This is actually the Nine of Cups upright, okay? And so I feel like, you know, your desires will be fulfilled with this person. This will be like a dream come true. And of course it resonates because the Star and the Lover card is right there, okay? Look, the Sun card is right after that, okay? Like I said, somebody's making an offer. All right? And y'all will be victorious with this situation. I so love this. Like, oh my God. It don't get no better than this. Okay? You're going to be getting what you deserve. Your desires are going to be fulfilled with... Oh, y'all can't see that. Okay. While I'm pointing. Because I... <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. So, the Six of Pentacles says you're going to be getting what you deserved. You know, your desires, your wishes, your your dreams are going to be fulfilled. The Sun card. The sun card brings this amazing energy into your life. So, this person could bring be bringing this amazing energy into your life. Right? And so, I feel like... um. You're definitely going to break the news to somebody that you didn't like them and you're going to move on with this Knight of Pinnacle person, which I think is a Taurus. And y'all are going to be victorious together, okay? Nine of Swords at the bottom. So, yeah, you're, you're releasing. You have to... You're. Mm, why am I stuttering like that? You're in the process of releasing... Things that no longer serve your purpose and you're ready for this new beginning now, okay? And this rep the this one represents um Gemini. None of the words is Gemini. But overall, I see Taurus, Taurus, Earth sign. Yes. Okay, so I just love it. Oh my god, that was so beautiful. So um y'all know, y'all know the deal. That's all I have for you. <laughs> um if this resonates, please drop a comment below. Okay. Take it as it resonates. Again, y'all know this is general. So please accept what applies to you and your situation. I thank you for tuning in because you could be doing anything now. But you're here with me <laughs> Okay, I love y'all